Will please state her full name. Emily Crane. And where do you reside, Miss Crane? New York City. <coughs> Would you mind speaking into the microphone? Uh, excuse me, New York City. And where are you employed, Miss Crane? I'm an assistant picture editor at Life Magazine. Miss <coughs> Crane, are you a member of the board of an organization called Liberty Watch? Yes. Does the subpoena you received direct you to bring with you here all books, ledgers, records, and papers relating to that organization? Yes, it does. Did you bring them? I have a statement here I would like to Please read. answer the question. Well, I think all your questions will be answered. We will consider your statement in due time, Miss Gray. We are an organization devoted to the cause of civil liberties. We know about we your... No Miss Crane, Miss Crane. We know about your organization. That is why you are here. We have no religious qualifications. Do you deny race, the committee? Race, do you deny... Miss Crane, do you deny the committee the materials requested in your subpoena? In our files are the names of people who we have helped and people who have helped us. I will not be a part of getting them in. Great publication. Life magazine. Do you agree? Yes. A circulation of millions. Each week, a picture view of the world's events. And you select those pictures, Miss Crane. I'm impressed. I don't decide what goes in the magazine. But you have the power to suggest. Mr. Chairman, what the witness does at Life magazine is irrelevant. Mr. Solomon, I fail to see how any of this relates. You recognize these petitions, Ms. Crane? The Stockholm Peace Petition, World Disarmament, Ban the Bomb, more of the same. Your signature on all of them. You write a lovely hand. 
Yeah, these are your signatures. Uh, Mr. Chairman, none of this is relevant to the line of inquiry. You brought the these to your board office, member of didn't Liberty you? Watch. You got others to sign them, didn't you? These questions are totally out of order. they know what they were signing, uh, Ms. Crane, no right or were they just boundaries. I never liked anyone. Was it anyone. easy, Ms. Crane? How did you persuade them, a beautiful young woman such as yourself? Uh, Mr. Such Chairman, I object to this woman. entire line of questions. I will not permit my client to be subjected to this kind of personal abuse. hardly germane. Mr. Chairman, the witness is in a position to distort information received by millions of unsuspecting Americans. That's ridiculous. She has furthermore refused to turn over her files to this committee as ordered in her subpoena. Ms. Crane, you do know we have a legal right to those records. I know what you want them for, to smear people. Then you deny this committee the materials requested in your subpoena. Committee, I the will not give you their names. Your... We're wasting time. I believe the citation is called for. I don't want to do this, Ms. Crane, but you don't leave us much choice. The law is very clear. You're sure you won't reconsider? I'm truly sorry. I move we cite this witness as being in contempt of Congress and take steps to bring this to the floor of the Senate. All in favor? Motion carried. This hearing is adjourned. Everybody, please. Happy birthday to you. Senator Mike, please. Happy spring I'm freezing to death. Doesn't feel cold to me. That's because where you come from, 20 below is a heat wave. Yeah, well, at least where I come from, people aren't colder than the weather. It's dry cold, it's not like here, it doesn't feel the same. Yeah, until your nose drops off. I'm putting on the heat. I look suspicious. The motor running, we don't move. But what are they gonna do? Call the cops? Four times what I make, Warren. Think of it as a bonus. It's not a bonus, is it? You weren't supposed to get that before you've been told. So tell me now. It wasn't my decision. We're reorganizing a department, cutting back, retrenching. You know how they get up Warren, there. we've always been honest with each other. They can't afford to offend public opinion. They make public opinion. Why the hell couldn't you cooperate? I mean, your goddamn testimony, what's, what's the big deal? Don't you know what's going on, the climate? You had a future here. Thanks for the truth. If you quote me, I'll deny it. Special Agent Cochran, Federal Bureau of Investigation. We'd like to talk to you, please. I have nothing to say. Legs are still holding up. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. 
Excuse me, could you tell me where this street is, please? Oh, it's the same like this street. You know, like this. Parallel? Yes, parallel. You go around corner on the left first street. Thank you. Good afternoon. I have to come about the ad. You're too early. The ad said three o'clock. Please. All right. Thank you. Well, at least you've got spunk coming early. You're not afraid of being turned away. I need the job. Well, come along. Read this to me. But there was no one there, no one to see the slight small girl just turned 19, whose hair was blacker than the wing feathers of a rain crow, and whose eyes, oddly, were the exact color of the evening sky come harvest time. Yeah, that will be enough. I think you'll do. Your voice has a certain cultivation. Have you been to college? Yes. Graduated? Yes. Cum laude. My eyes have begun to fail. I require someone to read to me. Your hours will be decided by how I feel. The salary will be $50 a week. That's not very much. The door is right behind you. You will also be fed. I'm leaving nothing with you, except a few clothes. I'm leaving you everything, even the child you've taught to hate me. Lynn doesn't court with him, but the door flew open and Lynn came into the room. Let her go, Daddy, she cried. I do hate her. I do, I do. that it is too dangerous. She has been here long enough. Common sense has been made. Do not proceed with him. She's part of it. She's either stop. Nicht sicher. Ich bin einer fortgebrachten Welt. Der Herr zu spät für eine romantische Suche. Was hat er gesagt? Er hat auf mich... Was hat er gesagt? Er hat auf mich als die Liste, worauf wir warten. Was? Was sind meine Assistenten? Sie haben mir gesagt, dass Sie hier sein würden. Die Assistenten werden da sein. Er garantiert. Problem, Problem, Problem. Es, gab, es gab ein kleines Problem, sie herauszubekommen. All fixed now. Jetzt ist alles in Ordnung. Sehr gut.
You didn't tell me about this group. That's the Talif. They were for important people. I certified they were genuine refugees. They're 100% genuine, direct from the old country. But are they, Ray, scientists for the rocket program? There's none of them left. But we didn't get the Russian scat. These are doctors. What kind of doctors? Research, that's all. What kind of research? Where? I know what you're worried about. Rest assured, these are only technicians. Meaning? Test tubes, blood samples. I think I didn't make sure. These men are clean. Then why the secrecy? Why the false names? They're technicians in a sensitive area, vital to national security. Simple as that. I've trusted you, Ray. Would I abuse that trust? There's nothing here that'll harm your reputation. We're not talking about my reputation. We're talking about a presidential hopeful, a man the country's taking to its heart. You have a noble ambition, Senator. That's why I'm here, to help you reach the pinnacle. And this other thing is a small favor, small importance. But if these men are war criminals... They're not. I assure you of that. Hello. Uh, we met the other day. <laughs> Remember? I asked you for an address. Parallel. Oh, yes. <laughs> I found the house. Thank you. Do you um, live in the neighborhood? I was, um, I was looking for a job at that address when we met. A reading. <laughs> Your reader? Mm hmm I read aloud, but well, not this book. This is for my own pleasure. May I see? Certainly. Dickinson. Dickinson? Mm hmm Should I know about this Dickinson? Well, she's a wonderful poet. I'm named after her. You are named after Dickinson? Oh, no. My first name, Emily. Emily Crane. Do you know Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. Mm -hmm. I practice my English with his poems for the sound. To the tintinabulation that so musically veils from the bells, 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 bells. <laughs> I think that's a very beautiful sound. Oh, now. yes, it's very, very beautiful. Uh, you speak English very well. Where did you learn? Many places. During the war? During, after. Do you uh, translate? Is that what you do? Why do you think that? Well, I heard you translating the other day. Uh, I didn't mean, I, I couldn't help it. The window was open and the other man was yelling, so. What man? Uh, Dr. Tepperson. He's a tall man, sounding. You saw him? Well, I didn't mean anything by it. Do you know German? You understand? No, no, I had enough trouble with Do you with know this name, Tepperson? No. Should I? Thank you for your Dickinson. Do you translate for Mr. Salwin? I do not know. Do? I do not know. But I You're saw you standing right... You're making a mistake. Excuse me, please. Goodbye. <laughs> I know nothing of her. You talk long enough. Poems. We talked of poems. She's reader. What else did she say? Nothing I've told you. Emily Crane. She's named after poet Dickinson. Here's the file you sent for. You're working on this one? Hey, help. Spot checking, see if she'll talk. Routine. Lean on her. Well, she's nothing special. Washington wants it. Emily Crane. Maybe she's hooked into something bigger. Like what? Like go and find out. Thank you. Very much. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> Ray to 
talk to us, Miss Crane? Miss Crane? Yes, ma'am. Miss Crane, you are late. I'm sorry that they bothered you. They didn't bother me. They disturbed me. I dislike being disturbed. I should have told you. I have no interest in your troubles, Miss Crane. Would you like me to leave? You will be informed when I do. Please continue reading. Very nice of you to come. Are you, are you from the office? No. He's such a lovely man. He revived my soul for the sake of his glory. Though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no harm, for you are with me. Your staff and your rod do comfort me. Thou settest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. She's wrong, your Dickinson. She has poem. You know such poem, the heart asks pleasure Please, first? Me. You know, the heart asks pleasure first. Yes, and then excuse from pain. She's wrong. First comes pain. Why'd you follow me? I wasn't. I mean, Are you from I, the government? No. What do you want from me? I don't know. Please. When I saw you with Mr. Solvin, There I, was no Mr. Solvin. I can help you. Why do you think I need help? Because I think that you're afraid. Of what? Something. Someone. Thank you. Are you here illegally? Maybe I can help. You know nothing of me. Why should you help? Because you look like you expect everyone to hurt you. 
How can you help? I know a lawyer. If you need a place to stay, we'll find you one. I'll give you my name and number. Emily Crane, remember? Oh, please call. Immigration lawyer? Which one? You remember the nice one. The nice one? What do you need him for? Well, I just need some information. Oh, you must be Bill. Bill Robinson. Robinson, that's it. Hey, how are you? Okay. Yeah, fine, fine, thanks. Thank you very much. Bye. Who is it? Federal Bureau of Investigation. I have nothing to say to you. We've got a search warrant. Your organization has failed to register under the Subversive Activities Control Act after being placed on the Attorney General's Subversive Activities list, giving us the legal right, therefore, to search your place of residence for your membership records. I'm calling my lawyer. We're coming in, Miss Crane. You resist, that's a felony. You want that? Mr. Ingalls, please. Oh, uh, when will he be back? Well, can you be reached? Well, will you please tell him that I called? Uh, Miss Crane. No, he has the number. Uh, as soon as possible, please. those. Aren't there enough kidnappers to go around? Or counterfeiters? Treasury Department handles counterfeiters. <sighs> That's not where it was. Look, lady. Crane. Miss Crane. Miss Crane. Fine. I don't get a kick out of this. Of course not. You just take orders, right? You don't know how lucky you are. <laughs> to have you in my home? Who do you think protects you, Miss Crane, huh? We came here legally. We didn't come breaking down your door. We came in with a search warrant, not a gun, all right? We're not a bunch of subhumans. You're finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Be seeing you, Miss Crane. How long you been with the Bureau, Mike? It's law school, why? Out west, right? One of those farm states? Kansas, you know that. Are there girls out there? Joe. No, I mean, good-looking girls with blonde she hair. She got me mad. Seen... That's all it was. Just, this you know... is a job, Mike. Cigarette? No. You don't get mad. You don't get personal. Even if you come from the sticks where everybody says hello. I don't like this city. I tried to reach you, but who is this? You are Emily Crane, who is Dickinson. 
Yes. Oh, yes. I thought I thought you were somebody else. You think still you can help me? Well, yes, I could try. I would like meet again with you. Okay. Um, I don't think that we should meet here. Um, I'll tell you what. Near Sheridan Square, there's a bookstore. You can't miss it. It's quite large, and it sells used books. alone? Oh, yes, of course. Are you all right? I'm in very bad position. Bad things are happening in that house. I wish not to be part anymore. Well, shouldn't you go to the police? No, no, of no use. You say you can help. Yes. Uh, I've called my friend. He's expecting us. He's a good man, this lawyer. You trust him? Oh, absolutely. Come on, we'll catch a cab across the street. Sonny, let's go. Uh, uh, pardon me, may I help you? U.S. immigration. This man's an illegal alien. They're not immigration. Just take it easy. Nobody's going to hurt you. Well, where are you taking him? Downtown? No. Well, don't worry. I'll call the lawyer. They're not immigration. Calm down. Uh, Please help me. I'll go with you. I'll call from their office. Sorry, Miss Crane. Can't do that. Regulations. How do you know my name? Run. <laughs> Excuse me. Those are our seats. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse us, miss, but those are our seats. Nobody knows who he is, nobody knows where he lived, no ID, fingerprints, clothes, zilch, nothing. He didn't exist. I told you before, go to that house. I sent someone. They never heard of the boy. They're lying. Look, Miss Crane, we ran a check on you. You're in a little bit of trouble yourself. You want my advice, don't look for more. He was trying to get away. Who's he trying to get away from? Who murdered him? A fact or two. I talked to Ray Solwyn. Why? I saw him with the boy. You think you saw him? I know I did. It's just your say-so. Why should I lie? Everybody lies. Go back to that house. Talk to Solwyn. Okay, you can go. Did you have to get permission from the FBI? Hey, don't crowd your luck. We could book you as a material witness. You know any of these names? Samuel Hurwitz, David Bistrong, Jesse Sackadorf? They mean anything to you? The kid had him in his pocket. Good night, Miss Crane. Stay out of trouble.
you don't mind? I was in the neighborhood. Normally I would have called first, but these are not normal times. I can close the door if you want to get out. No? Tell me, uh, you like reading to that crazy old lady? It's a job beneath your capabilities. You're a smart, intelligent young woman. You had a promising future. What do you want? I'd like to help you. Why? Why is a crooked letter. My mother used to say that to me when I asked too many questions. Emily. Can I call you Emily? You don't mind? Question is, what do you want? I'm concerned for your welfare. Like you were concerned for that boy's welfare. I sought you out, Emily. I didn't have to come here, you know. You're not important enough to buy off. Then why try? Nobody wants another mistake. You know these gentlemen? Hurwitz, Sackdorf, Bistrong, Tepperson. Don't stay too long in a hot tub, Emily. You could catch a cold. I disapprove of snooping, Miss Crane. I beg your pardon. You show an unseemly interest in that house across the garden. I apologize. I didn't mean oh, to do... What one means is irrelevant. What matters is what one does. I believe that house is connected with something terrible. Does it concern you? No. Not exactly, but I... Then do. you have no reason to pry. I do not know who lives in that house, nor do I care. However, it seems apparent that they are no longer in residence. The shades are now always pulled down. No windows are ever open, even though the days are mild. Garbage is not put out. The house is almost certainly empty. But how can you really tell? I should imagine a rock through a window would do the trick.
fine. I just like lying here. Oh. Don't move. Not where I need it. He pulled a dirty trick. Yeah, I know, I know. I teach, I teach dirty tricks. Why didn't you just shoot him? I don't have a gun. What? I don't have a gun. You're too heavy to wear. Oh, it's better. You put him on your belt right about here. You end up walking around like this. Oh. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, you belly ache to the cops about this house. I just thought I'd take a look. <sighs> Sorry about the other day. Mm -hmm. What I said to you, I didn't mean to get personal. Well, I was uh, personal, too. Yeah, but you're not sorry. Did you hear something? the truth, I do feel a little shaky. I think I should go home. Blood sugar. Drops when you get scared. What you need, something to eat. No. No, really. I, I should just go home. I'll stay here till you get upstairs. You just come to the window and wave. You've got a great act, Cochran. Good night. You wanna give me that book you lifted back there? Yes. Emily Dickens. That's it. I'd like to talk to you, Miss Craig. Oh, I've been waiting for you to show up. Here, this is the book that I took. It was owned by somebody named Laura Moulton. She wrote her name in it and the date, 1851. But the book was published in 1904, so she couldn't possibly have written it in 1851. What does it mean? I can't figure it out. You coming, lady? I know it has something to do with the murder. I know it does, so find out. Do something useful.
Ink's modern. Huh? Yeah, ink, it's modern. Hmm. Waterman, you can buy it anywhere. Lamb says it was written within the year. Look at that. The Duke went four for four. What's so special about 1851? Poe died in 1849. I looked at him. Poe, oh, he's a shortstop for the Tigers, right? <laughs> what do you think? I think it won a batting title going away. Who? Duke Snyder. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not going to beat Stan the Man Mutual. It's nah. not going to happen. Well, all right, suppose it isn't a year. Suppose? I mean, suppose it's a day, month, and then year. 1 8 51. January 8th, 1951. It's been and gone. Look at the handwriting. It's not American. Oh? No? Americans put the month first, Europeans put the day, so it could also mean that it's the first day of the eighth month, August 1st, 1951. It's tomorrow. Right, right. She could be onto something. Yeah. Well, you're a dumb hick, you know that? Why else did they want us to lean on her? You know why? I know two things. The Dodgers are going to win, and what I learned in the Navy, you keep your mouth shut, your bowels open, and you never volunteer. <laughs> the guy's been murdered. There's a police department for such matters. Yeah, well, she could have been necked by and been her. Want to make a small wager? No, we're already betting on a pennant. I'm not betting you on anything. Batting crowd. Yeah, well, you got, you got, you usually I'll take Snyder. You call me dumb? Come on, deal? Deal. Yeah. Okay. All right, you got a woman's name and a date. Tomorrow, something special tomorrow, uh, the lady's birthday? Rendezvous somewhere? Love nest? Mm -hmm. Huh? A rendezvous? You don't put down the year. You figure you know what year it is. So? Maybe it's not a woman. How did you figure out it was a ship? I've got a smart partner. I checked the manifest. She's carrying furniture and refugees. Checked and double-checked the cargo was shaken down before it was loaded. Everything was routine. You did all that? Well, it's my day off. I had some time on my hands. You keep surprising me, Cochran. Sometimes I surprise myself. Maybe I was wrong about you. Any of them look familiar? Mm -mm. Cochran, that woman, I know her. I saw her with the boy at the house. Come on, we've got to follow them. Wait, 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 wait. No. Why not? You see that guy? government. Whatever this is, it's official. Come on. Official? Well, you're official, aren't you? Your government. Official just makes it worse.
Frida, I am right? Uh, no. Um, Cecilia. Cecilia Ostrovsky. <laughs> no, why don't you try again? <laughs> I never forget the face on the names. I'm not so... Uh, Stephanie? Connie. Sure, that's who, Connie. You're a friend of Stephanie's. I remember you. You remember me? I am Boria. Right, yes, yes. <laughs> so, where you been, Connie? Haven't seen you around lately. I moved. Oh, sure. I don't blame you. This lousy town is a dump. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you want to dance with me, Connie? Um, no thanks. Maybe later. I got to dance right now. Later? I ain't even gonna be able to stand up. Oh, well, why don't you look me up if you can make it, Borea? <laughs> Wonderful party, isn't it? I don't understand what she says. Maybe we don't need to talk I said it's a wonderful party. Oh, yes. Very wonderful. Chidovi Beach. Uh, how was your trip? Was it smooth? Uh, oh, yes. Very smooth. Oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Connie or Strovsky? Sakharov. Sakharov. Well, you must be Mr. Bistrom. Horvitz. And, um, Dr. Tepperson, have you seen him since you've arrived? I am Tepperson. Do I know you? Mr. Stavsky, Dr. Tepperson. We have met before, yes? Well, yes, um, Mrs. I, I can't remember her name. She introduced us. I was thinking before today. No, no, I don't think so. I mean, I certainly would have remembered. Will you gentlemen please excuse me? Watching us. He recognized me, but I don't think he knows from where. The boy had the names of those men in his pocket. He was getting them from the cemetery. They're dead people, Cochran. They're being smuggled into the country as people who are dead. Can I just give out the answer? Why are they being smuggled in? Who are they? People who can't get in normally. Why can't they get in normally? Which side were they on? Officially? This is hands off for you people, you know that. Gentlemen, would you please pay attention for a moment? Uh, ласка, панове, Unfortunately, it is no longer possible to use the Bushman house. Uh, 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 uh,
Що ж неможливо, я не знаю, почекати. Do we spend the night here? Вона каже, що ми маємо провести ніч тут у тій церкві. You leave for Chicago tomorrow. Вона каже, що ми, що вони нас відправлять в Чикаго, тому завтра. Коли? Коли я не знаю. You'll be leaving on the Chicago Express, which departs at 6 o'clock. Tell them there is nothing to worry about. In Chicago, it will be impossible to trace you. Hold it. Oh, You're out of your jurisdiction. I recommend the hamburger. No kidding. It's not like you think a hamburger happens to be famous. No, thank you. How do you like it? Medium, medium rare? Nothing, thank you. From nothing, Doug, from nothing comes nothing. Shakespeare, King Lear. I have a head full of useless quotations. Medium. You like cottage fries? Cottage fries. Emily. Nobody wants to hurt you. I tried to make that plane before. There's been enough strong arm already. I'm offering you a bargain. 100% clearance. FBI off your case. No names, membership lists. Between you and me, we got that list a long time ago. All I want in return is a simple truth from you. Who else knows? woman that you read to now think before you speak I'll make a deal with you I'll tell you who knows if you tell me who killed the boy curiosity killed the cat Emily that boy was killed years ago you don't survive a childhood like that the Camps, wars. She arrived here dead, as good as dead. Unknown, unwanted, illegal. I took pity on him. He worked for you. Odd jobs. Like getting names off of tombstones. Be careful that your reach does not exceed your grasp. Who killed him?
ketchup. Not blood. Everything's a joke to you, isn't it? Bringing in Nazis disguised as Jews. Such a funny idea. Who else would have thought of it? Who has that kind of humor? Jew killers into Jews? Eat before it gets cold. You're an educated person, Emily. You should know the lessons of history. What does a map of the world tell you? After the first war, one sixth of the world. After the second, what? Map? The stain is spreading. You think the war is over. World War II, sure. World War III batters them. I'd like to go home now. We haven't heard your part of the deal. You haven't told me who killed the boy. You killed him, Emily. With the best of intentions, of course. You killed him with kindness. You're a do-gooder. Your hand goes out in charity. What does it matter a boy falls by the wayside? He'd be alive if it wasn't for you. No one else knows. Don't turn on the light. I'm in the kitchen. There's a man. They had a wire to the stove. It would have gone up the first time he tried to boil water. I got it out of there, but that's as far as I got with it. Shouldn't we leave? These babies usually go up about a minute after they've been detached, and it's been, I don't know, about 30 seconds. You want to uh, start counting? One, two, three, four, five, six. I was never very good seven, at bomb disposal. Almost eight, flunked the chorus when I was. Nine. It's kind of like a crossword puzzle. Eleven. Twelve. But I was never really good at those either. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Shit. 21. What's wrong? Nothing. You just keep counting. I could cut the wrong 23, wire. 23, 24. Sorry about the language. It's okay. Don't give it a second thought. 25, 26, 27. Cochran, let's get out of here. Just, I hate confessing to feet. 29. Let's go. No, no, come on.
I knew he was gonna kill me while he was ordering me dinner. <laughs> the famous hamburger. <laughs> he sat there and he made jokes. And the whole time, he was only waiting till he knew it was time. What, what would they have said? Cochran, a gas leak, smoking in bed. place I could think of. Anyone I know? You know any bank robbers? No. Not personally. I just, I didn't know where else you'd be safe. Sleep okay? Fine. Thank you. I make sounds when you sleep. I know. I squeak. No, you don't squeak. Oil and water, Cochran. Not last night, we were In the dark. All this disappeared. It's morning now. Two when we were on the same side. I hated New York till I met you. But all I've done is get you in trouble. You and everyone else. Well, 
Close the horse, lose the buggy. Try to stop them, don't we? They're leaving today at six o'clock, so it'll work. You can't. You've been warned off. Just don't. Just don't confuse me, Are you doing this for me? Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Well, I do and I don't. All right, well, now I'm confused. I don't think you're that confused. Really? Well, you don't know me very well. I confuse easily. Ask anyone. Your gender, Cochran. That's what did it. Library Wentworth speaking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mike. Yeah. Your boss wants you. been looking for you. Come in. We've a few things to talk about. Limited to Boston. Now loading from 515 departures. Available on track 15. Agent Hackett. Is Cochran there? May I speak with him? No, he's uh, in conference, Miss Crane. Will you tell him that I'm at Grand Central? Our people might be on the train already. Please tell him that. Thank you. Miss Crane, if you... She called. She's at Grand Central. Damn it! What happened in there? Oh, I'm off the case. What else? I can't tell anybody what I know. That's all? I gotta stay away from her. St. Louis, on track 32, loading for a 545 departure. Top center, Poughkeepsie, Albany, Schenectady, Utica, Syracuse, Rochester. trip and a manicure too. <laughs> 
You're too old for a manicure, Benny. Not if you sit on my lap, you'll see how old I am. Excuse me. Can I help you, miss? I just thought some friends of mine might have boarded early. Four men? Yes. Government people? Are they here? Uh-huh. Well, I just wanted to know if they were on board. Why don't you follow me? Is this the one? Stay in one place. Cochran, why do you keep on scaring me? Everybody else does. Why not me? Let's go. Buster, she disappeared down one of the tunnels. We chased her halfway down the tracks, and then she walked into, a, into one of the tunnels, into the side tunnels. I can't find her. A schmuck. Available for boarding. <coughs> <coughs> 
Such a necessity. Hmm? Why couldn't you just stop? Boy from nowhere. I refuse to believe that. Why, Emily? Why do you do this to yourself? We could have lived and let live. It was never personal with me. Emily. Didn't you know what you were doing? Those Nazis, who cares anymore? A footnote of history. Or don't turn away. Emily, Emily, Emily. You are hurting your country. These men will serve America in her moment of need. Do you have the right to interfere? in your heart. Don't turn away, you stupid girl! Listen to me!
Get out of here. I'm giving you a break. No right. Watch. You, 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 and you. Under arrest. You're crazy. Yeah, well, I'm not myself today. Keep your hands on the table. I want you safe for trial. Don't be ridiculous. These men are legitimate refugees. They have papers. Sack door, be strong, Irving. Exactly. And Tepperson. Stay out of this. The real name over there is Gerhard Kunst. In charge of experiments and how long a man can survive in ice water before he freezes to death. Subject to experiments, prisoners in Auschwitz. You want me to do the others? You fool. You think you've stopped anything. I wouldn't want to be you, Cochran. You know what they're going to do to you? Maybe they'll give him a medal. I'm all right. Okay. We, uh, we had to wrap up the case. It took till this morning. I waited for you. I guess I could have called. I'm being transferred. Butte, Montana. That's too bad. Well, listen, you know, I could have been canned. Could have been worse. You know me, I don't think too much of the big city, so. I'll give you a call from Butte. It would be nice. Safer, anyway. <laughs> you know, it really wouldn't have worked. Oil and water. Opposite sides. You're right. Take good care of yourself, Cochran. Me too. Crane, I'd still like to talk to you. I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs>